Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, Amen, Amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 22, part 15 to 22. The Jewish leaders tried to trick Jesus. Then the Pharisees left the place where Jesus was teaching. They made plans to catch him saying something wrong they sent some men to jesus they were some of their own followers and some from the group called herodians they said teacher we know you are an honest man we know you teach the truth about god's way you are not afraid of what others think about you all people are the same to you. So tell us what you think. It is right to pay taxes to Caesar or not. Jesus, but Jesus knew that these men were trying to trick him. So he said, you hypocrites, why are you trying to catch me saying something wrong? show me a coin used for paying the tax they showed jesus a silver coin then he asked whose picture is on the coin and whose name is written on the coin they answered it's caesar's picture and caesar's name then jesus said to them give to caesar what belongs to caesar and give to god what belongs to god when they heard what Jesus said, they were amazed. They left him and went away. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. 
ハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤエピステルロマン14パート13223 Don't cause others to sin So we should stop judging each other Let's decide not to do anything that will cause a problem for a brother or sister or hurt their faith. I know that there is no food that is wrong to eat. The Lord Jesus is the one who convinced me to that. But if someone believes that something is wrong, then it is wrong for that person. If you hurt the faith of your brother and sister because of something you eat you are not really following the way of love don't destroy anyone's faith by eating something they think is wrong Christ died for them don't allow what is good for you to become something they say is evil In God's kingdom, what we eat and drink is not important. Here is what is important. A right way of life, peace and joy, all from the Holy Spirit. Whoever serves Christ by living this way is pleasing God and they will be accepted by others. So let's try as hard as we can to do what will bring peace let's do whatever will help each other grow stronger in faith don't let the eating of food destroy the work of god all food is right to eat but it is wrong for anyone to eat something that hurts the faith of another person it is better not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything else that hurts the faith of your brother or sister. You should keep your briefs about these things a secret between yourself and God. It is a blessing to be able to do what you think is right without feeling guilty. But anyone who eats something without being sure It is right to do it is right is doing wrong that is because they did not believe it was right and if you do anything that you believe is not right it is sin this is the word of Jesus thanks be to God hallelujah hallelujah Halleluja, Halleluja. Gospel, John 19, part 17 to 27. Jesus is nailed to a cross. The soldiers took Jesus. He carried his own cross to a place called the place of the skull. In Aramic, the name of this place is Golgotha. There, they nailed Jesus to the cross. They also nailed two other men to crosses. They put them on each side of Jesus with him in the middle. Pilate told them to write a son and put it on the cross. The son said, Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. The sign was written in Aramic, in Latin, and in Greek. Many of the Jews read this sign because the place where Jesus was nailed to the cross was near the city. The leading Jewish pre- uh, priests said to Pilate, Don't write the king of the Jews. But right, this man said, I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, 
I will not change what I have written. After the soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts. Each soldier got one part. They also took his tunic. It was uh, all one piece of cloth woven f from top to bottom. So the soldiers said to each other, we should not tear this into parts. Let's throw lots to see who will get it. This happened to make clear to full meaning of what the scripture, scriptures say. They divided my clothes among them and they threw lots for what I was wearing. So the soldiers, the soldiers did this. Jesus' mother stood near his cry, cross. His sister was also standing there. Her sister was also standing there with Mary and w Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. Jesus saw the, his mother. He also saw the followers he loved very much standing there. He said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. Then he said to the follower, Here is your mother. So after that, his follower took Jesus' mother to live in his home. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 A prayer when you are in trouble. My God, show that I am not guilty. Make the people who do not respect you know that I am right. Rescue me from the evil people who tell lies about me. God, you are the safe place where I can hide. Why have you pushed me away? How much longer must I continue to weep? Because my enemies do cruel things to me. Send to me your light and your truth. Let them be my guide. They will take me back to your holy mountain and to the house where you live. Then I will go to your altar to worship you, the God who makes me happy. You are my God and I will praise you there. I will sing to thank you, God, with my heart. I ask myself, why am I so sad and upset? I must wait patiently for God to help me. Then I will praise my God once again because He is the one who saves me. Hallelujah. Amen. Preaching. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for staying in me. Even if the world will already wanted me to give up, you still continue to cheer me up. Even if countless times I fail you, still you continue to pour out your grace even if sometimes i forget you still you love me faithfully thank you lord for your never ending goodness you continue to do good in my life even if i keep on thinking about the negative things still you hold my heart and you always keep safe thank you for being so patient with me lord even if i keep on complaining about my problems still you pave the way for your victory you continue to provide me with wisdom so that i can face all the difficulties thank you lord for always holding my hands even if there are times when i badly wanted to let go still you choose to hold me closer so that I won't easily stumble. Thank you, Lord, for leading me the way. Even if 
there are there are times when I wanted to make decision on my own. Still, you continue to bless me with so much favor, Father. Your love is in indescribable. You are always there when I need you. You you are never too early, nor too late. You are always perfect in all your way. Every time, every moment. In everything you do, you are always perfect. That's why I put my trust in you, because I know that I am in your arms. I am always safe. Thank you, Lord, for all your promises. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your boundless grace. Thank you always, the best Lord. You are always awesome. To your name, Jesus, belongs all the glory and honor for you alone deserve it all amen decreed we believe in one god the father the almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one lord jesus christ the only son of god eternally begotten of the father god from god light from light true God from true God begotten not made of one being with the Father through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made a man for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate this, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. A creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the high right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of intercessions. 
We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine, wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
who in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Accept through him our great high Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this 
grom the crumbs from under your table but you lord are the god of our salvation and share your bread with sinners so cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of christ may sit and eat in your kingdom amen god's holy gifts for god's holy people jesus christ is holy jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father amen you can eat the bread and drink the wine or water if it is water you are drinking you can uh, ask jesus to turn as wine in your body the peace of god which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of god and of his son jesus christ our lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.